Hi everybody, it's Stefan from EDC Austria and today we are talking about the Event Horizon from Riyadh. Riyadh is one of this new breed of Chinese manufacturers that don't just produce very cheap knives for major brands or just produce a copy very cheap knives themselves. They actually use renowned designers and use great usually US steel or Austrian steel with the M390 to fashion their products and they are still pretty decently priced. Like Kaiser Real steel is a bit cheaper usually, although they as of recently have some pretty high-end stuff too. Riyadh is among them and most notably as of new Wii knives, where we actually gonna have a few knives upcoming to review here. Back to this knife. This knife is a Blade HQ exclusive. They also have it in a Dark Sun vari variant, which is basically uh, the opposite of this. So everything that's blacked out here is satin and everything that's satin is blacked out. This one is only $190 at the moment and uh, the bronze version was 280 I think but it's while I was writing down the specs for this video it went out of stock so I don't know the exact price anymore. As for the specs the, the whole length of the knife is 21 centimeters which is 8.25 inches and the blade length is exactly 3.5 inches which is the good old 8.9 centimeters. The steel blade is CPM S35VN which is basically the steel of 2016. Okay, my video was already finished when I realized I forgot to weigh it and check the thickness of the plate. So let's do this now. It's 179 grams, 0.1 grams, and that's 6.32 ounces. As for the blade thickness, we have 4, 4.02, so 4 millimeter is the blade thickness. I hope that was worth all the work for me. Okay. By the way, now it's Sunday night. I actually wanted to do this video since Saturday morning, but the Riyadh Knives site is unavailable since then. Or I don't know since when, because yesterday was the first time I tried it, but it's just some Chinese text without any pictures and without anything to click on. So I don't know what it says. Maybe the government shut it down. I don't know. So now let's do the size comparison. By the way, I was asked how I decide which knives to use for the size comparison. So basically uh, I try to use knives which are known to many people and they would know how then the other knife relates to it. This is the CT0566, which is very close from the, from the blade length, but it has a bit of a shorter handle. Oh. 
As always, we do have a Sabanza, where the, you have to excuse my bad vision when I try to set up stuff. Now the blade is only marginally larger on the Sibenza and from a total standpoint the, the part of the knife, the length of the Sibenza is just slightly shorter. I hope I was lining it out correctly. Here we have the Kershaw Cryo 2 which is actually a pretty small knife usually so you can see that the blade is shorter also the handle and finally which should be a well-known knife too the Kershaw Emerson collaboration the 6k which also has a tanto blade yet only costs 40 euros as you see it has a shorter it has a shorter handle and slightly shorter blade well as for my oh yeah sorry i didn't even show you the knife up close sorry Uh, then we do it from above sorry about the shaking but you see open pillar constructions three points that hold it together you have a little bit of chimping up there And then the back side here the, you have a right side 3D milled pocket clip which is right size tip up only. And a nice lanyard hole in the back which should get 550 paracord through without a problem. Here you have some nice inserts, some steel inserts for your for the contact so that isn't titanium against steel because that wouldn't work well over time and here you see that the pivot screw is actually lined up with the outer with the outer ring very exact so if i don't have to i <laughs> won't do anything to it right now so now for my summary in general 2016 was really the year of the titanium folders and especially two things really were outstanding this year in general chinese high-end makers such as the before mentioned like this one, Riyadh, Kaiser, We, all those, if you, if you buy something from them, you can really, really be sure that you're getting quality for a very decent price. And from other companies, really the most standing out company this year was Zero Tolerance. They came out with so many interesting knives, especially the factory customs, although some were a bit strange from the design, others I just couldn't afford, but really it was an exercise in what you can do today. Just amazing. But this knife in particular, you have a really nice grip on it, nice protection of the hand. The jimping is yeah it works but if, if you have if you have it lined up like this then your thumb is you won't hold it like this 
and your thumb is already here in this groove the, and then the jumping doesn't make any sense but you really don't need it either so stay tuned for the cut tests and if you want this knife the regular version so not the bronze ones this one and the Dark Sun are still available at Blade HQ so go and order it if you like I do provide some links from which I don't get any money don't worry bye bye okay here we are cutting the paper which is very easy with this knife and the, the out of the box sharpness I didn't have to okay. brush it up one bit and cutting cardboard is also great as you can hear from the sound it really glides through so I would really go ahead and order one of these they are pretty cheap comparatively $190 for a multi row quality knife it's amazing okay yes now bye bye By the way, now it's Sunday night. I oh fuck.